what's up guys this is lucky and i'm welcome you guys back again to this tutorial section so guys in today's video i'll be showing you how to fix uh, this kind of problem now as you can see when i turn on this laptop i'm getting an error message that the selected boot device did not authenticate and they said i should press enter to continue and when i click on enter when i click on enter from my keyboard now the laptop is going to turn off and it's not going to come on again right now all you have to do guys is just to stay tuned to the end of this video and i'll be showing you step by step process on how to approach and fix this kind of problem all right so with that being said let's now jump in into the video Okay guys, so before I'm going to go ahead to fix this kind of problem, let's just take a second look at the problem once again. So, I'll go ahead and turn on the laptop. As you can see here, the laptop just uh, came on and then there's going to be an indication message, an error message here, checking media. Okay, let me just move closer to the screen so you can see what I'm demonstrating. As you can see here, the message just came out and uh, here is telling us that the selected uh, boot device did not authenticate. Press enter to continue. Okay guys, so one more time, we are going to click on enter and then the system will turn off. The very first step we are going to do here now is to enter BIOS. Now this is a HP laptop and if you want to navigate through the BIOS, now all you need to do is just to click on F10. F10 is going to, once you on the system, you just click on F10 and it will take you, it will boot you directly into the BIOS section where we are going to be fixing this problem. Now, if you don't know the key to enter BIOS on your laptop, in the description of this video, I'm going to provide several keys to enter a BIOS section for different uh, laptop, different common laptop like Lenovo, Dell and every other common laptop that I have out there, right? So let's just go ahead and use this HP to demonstrate how to fix this kind of problem, right? So here, I'll just turn on the laptop and the very first thing I'm going to do here now is to click on F10 continuously so we can boot in into the bio section. So guys, as you can see here, we just booted into the bio section. Now I'm going to be using this arrow key to navigate uh, through some of these settings here. So guys, from here, now the second step here now is to go to this system configuration. So I will use my arrow key here to go to the system configuration. Here I will select system configuration and from here I will move down into the boot options. So when I get there, then I'll click on enter. So guys, from here, now all we need to do is just to change these uh, settings from uh, this legacy support. Now locate legacy supports and then click on enter. And then you are going to get option like this. As you can see, it's currently disabled. So we are going to go ahead and enable it. So I'll use my arrow key to select uh, enable and then I'll click on enter and one more time we are getting a, a message here changing now i say changing these settings may make the system unable to boot the os do you want to make these changes now all we need to do is just to select yes and then click on enter and after that guys this problem has been fixed now the very thing i'm going to do here now is to click on escape to go back to the previous menu and when you get to this menu here you just go to the exit section because we are done fixing this problem so just go to the exit and from here you select exit exit saving changes so i'll just go ahead and click on enter and then one more time it will ask us exit saving changes so i'll just click on enter yes so the system is going to restart Okay guys, so the very last thing we need to do here now is to complete this change that we just did in the bio section. Now here is telling us that we have to enter this number. As you can see here is the number 9977 plus the enter key. Now just go ahead and click on 997 plus the enter key. This is 9977 plus the enter key and then I'll click on enter. And here guys, we have fixed this problem. As you can see, the system is now going to boot in into the windows as you can see here the windows is now loading normally
so guys we have successfully fixed that uh, problem here i just did a simple demonstration on how to approach and uh, fix that kind of problem in case if you encounter that kind of problem or in case if your system is currently having that kind of issue now all you need to do is just to uh, boot into the bio section and you'll be able to enable the legacy support and once you enable it that problem will be fixed right okay guys so that brings us to the end of this uh, video section so guys if today is your very first time of coming across wizard tech here we post a good number of content relating to it troubleshooting techniques and a lot more in the it field so if you are new in our channel guys i would like you to be part of this family by subscribing and turning on the bell notification so that in case any time that we upload a new content here on our youtube channel you'll be notified and you come and watch our video right so with that being said see you in the next tutorial and that reminds me if you encounter any kind of problem if you have any issue while you're trying to do some of these settings now all you need to do is just to go down in the comment section and comment the kind of problem and we'll be able to attend to your problem right so see you guys in the next tutorial bye for now